don't know if you can hear me. We're in iFly right now, Mavis and I. There she is. And there's, I wanted to talk about different levels of discomfort or fear in your dog. So right now Mavis is doing pretty good. She's not really overly concerned as you can see. But when the guy in the tube here first got in, she, you know, reacted in a sort of a startled way, like, whoa, where'd he come from? And first thing she did was tip her head up and look right at me. So uh, that level of fear is, is still totally manageable. Um, she's checking in, and the way I would manage that or deal with that would be to either reassure her slightly, you know, you're a good girl, it's okay. Um, or give her some calming signals, things like, you know, if I were to go, hmm, uh, act like I was bored, or, you know, think real slow, like I'm almost falling asleep, um, or take a nice deep breath, where she can see those things. Those are calming signals to dogs, um, and that would help her to relax and alleviate some of her stress when she sees that I'm not bothered by it. Um, the, what I don't want to do is reach down and hug her and you know, shield her eyes or, you know, at this level, shield her eyes or shield her ears from, from what's going on. Um, see, hang on. See, right now she's got, she's, she's in a reactive phase. She's reacting to it. Not necessarily in a bad way. She's not looking at it. There, when she checks in, good girl. Good girl. Nice and calm. Good. So what I did there was she looked up at me. I took a nice deep breath and kind of yawned and like blinked my eyes nice and slow. And she decided, okay, we're okay. And she kind of rolled back onto her hip again and relaxed a little more again. So those are things you can do when your dog's still checking in with you. Um, if your dog's just full on scared and it won't even look at you and you say, look at me, it's just focused on things, it's looking around, it's, it's squatting a little bit, you know, hunkered down, the best bet would be just to remove it from that situation. Give yourself some distance so that you can um, get the dog's focus again. And then when the dog can reliably look at you and take treats, then you can maybe move a little closer to the distraction or the, the object of the fear. If your dog's just full on, just laying there with its head on the floor and half asleep, obviously you're not dealing with a fear situation at all and you don't have to worry about it. So I just thought I'd do a real quick video. Um, she's back to... So she's got her head back down again. She's her hip. She's back on her hip again. Um, so now I know she's comfortable again. She's, you know, still watchful of the guy in the tube that's going around. But she's managing her fear, basically it's fear. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd uh, check in real quick since this was a good opportunity to talk about these things. I really hope that this video, you can hear me. Um, it's really loud in here, so I'm doubtful, but I didn't want to scream too loud because there's other people and I feel kind of stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, until next time, bye.